guys, we are, uh, let's see, where are we here? Uh, about a half mile from our delivery. We're gonna do this like this. Welcome back to the channel for part two of this wonderful load that I have here, office furniture. We are uh, put out here to Gateway. Wow, this speed bump is massive. Oh, it's a correctional facility right here. All right. Uh, Gateway Drive, I'm going to turn right. Law Enforcement Training Center. Oh, it's on up, okay. <laughs> I was like, I know that's not it. Gateway Drive, right here. This is, I'm glad I'm not pulling heavy out of here. Holy crap. Oh, we are all over the curb. I don't know what you can do in a situation like that. All right. Wow, this is like straight downhill. <laughs> 119, that's where I'm going right here on the left. Stop all truck driver sound horn and stay in cab. So you all may do. That's how long this takes. How's it going? Smoking. <laughs> oh yeah. Got a little blow by. What you got, one? I got some uh, no office furniture there. Yeah, they child proof it, don't they? <laughs> this one right here is tough, son. <laughs> oh, they got it stapled in there. Now, why would you do that? Go with Corona. <laughs> uh, get in this dock over here. You got to pull in down that way, back between the buildings, straighten up this way. Go okay. right beside the building over there. All right. So, okay. Yeah, there's, a, there's another dock. Just kind of wiggle around in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just nose down in there and back between the buildings. All righty. Straighten up this way. That'll work. Thank you. Looks like there's plenty of room to do this, but... I don't like the angle. 
that it's going at. Gotta be a complete like drift build store across the street. This counter steer. This is nothing but like skylines, infinities, and 240s. <laughs> Everything rear wheel drive. Oh, there's one Honda in there. What the heck is going on here? Here we go. Can't see. Y'all is. This is crazy. in there. Street there, there's a uh, was that an R32? Uh, a couple infinities, 240s. Uh, can't see anything coming this way. I gotta watch this mailbox over here on the right. Box. I got a bunch 
bunch of Supras and Skylines and 240s. where they do a lot of shooting over here the training facility that's what the guy was saying and uh, that was unload me he said they uh, they shoot pretty much pretty much all day uh, so there's constantly like the cars screaming up and down the hill and, uh, and then you got the training facility where they're shooting all the time so he said it's pretty noisy most days other than the fact that it's a law enforcement facility. It's like heaven. <laughs> oh. Let's get on down the road, guys, to stop number three. We, uh, we got one more today. I gotta go down to Norcross, Georgia, so I'm kinda going back the way I came, which is stupid. Well, that's the way they loaded this thing, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, I'm getting paid for it. I don't like this tree right here. I'm sure it's plenty tall, but... Uh, trees make me nervous, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys when we get a little closer, unless anything changes. Oh. We'll see y'all in a few. Oh, wait, while I was there, I, uh, tire shined my wheels. Ooh. I gotta put another coat later on today. But I'm gonna go through and, like, clean up the, the bumper and get the, like, the drips and all that stuff off from the truck wash. Get all that stuff off the bumper and the, the fenders, the stacks. Do what I can, kind of clean her up a little more. And, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all in a few. Uh, but we are 0.1 miles away. Looks like our destination will be on the right-hand side. Uh, 5964 Peachtree Corners East. Oh, this might be it. 59, nope, that's 88. That is not it. Let's see here what this one is up here. guy down here 
to move enough where I can get by him to get closer here to the edge so I can loop this thing around. So I gotta turn around in this. This isn't terribly tight, but it's tight enough that it makes crap difficult. Turn around here. And then I gotta back in on the other side of this yellow truck. Uh, there's two docks I can use, so either one. He said get in either one, so uh, now that he's backed up some, I'm gonna go ahead and back up, loop around, and uh, try to get this thing in the dock.
not too bad. Got a little more room up here than what I originally thought I did, but well, yeah. Got it in the dock enough where he was able to get the, uh, look at how crooked that is. <laughs> but he's able to get the forklift in there and uh, get everything unloaded. So I'm gonna pull out of this dock and uh, go make something to eat real quick because my next stop doesn't deliver till tomorrow morning. So make something to eat and then uh, get on the road. I'll probably just make a sandwich or something, something quick to keep rolling so I don't tear up any more of my drive time. And uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. night about uh, seven o'clock it was dark uh, I wasn't real lit so I didn't did record back into the dock or anything um, but it was fairly easy and there was plenty of room I literally went into this one right here next to the this dock number 10 uh, so I went in there just I mean I just pulled up here and opened the doors and put the paperwork in the back of the trailer for them and uh, they started working on me early this morning. My appointment was for eight. I'm empty, it's just before 7.30, so works out. Um, oh, I said there's something. This last stop is a little wanky, so let me go up here and see uh, what's going on with this load. This train here. Hair, that thing's laid over. Going anywhere? Oh, it's two pieces. That can work good. That's not gonna go anywhere. All right. This trailer is a freaking mess. I gotta get a fuel filter. Mine is completely full to the top. So uh, I'm going to uh, go over here to the Freightliner, the Velocity, Neely Coble, whatever it is now. It was Neely Coble, now it's Velocity. Uh, go over there and pick up a good filter. Change the, uh, the filter real quick and then get on the road. Checking all the lights, make sure everything's working good. A little skeptical after my wiring issue earlier. But I think that's normal. But let's, uh, let's get on the road. All right, guys. I am uh, here at Freightliner at the, uh, the Western Star here in Madison, Alabama. And what the heck is it? I, I had to come look at it. Uh, this is the new Western Star. I don't even, they didn't even know what model it was inside. But to me, and maybe I'm wrong, 
but it's like a Western Star, Cascadia, Coronado, <laughs> kind of kind of blend it all into one here. I mean, this is clearly from the stack back is clearly a Cascadia. Actually, from like the the windshield back is a Cascadia. All they did was change a few things as far as the window shape and the mirror mount, and obviously they put the little bitty what are these like four inch pipes on here? They're tiny. I like the color. The color's nice. At least they kept the traditional Western Star step look. I mean, that looks like a Western Star. The headlights, I like these things. These are pretty nice. They're all fogged up right now. I got dew on them, but... Uh, I mean, it's just... It, it looks like you took a Coronado and you put a Western Star front end on it. It's a little strange. To me, it is. I don't even know what it is, if it's automatic or what but i mean there's the def tank with the step so i mean this looks like traditional western star uh but guys what is going on here like this is cascadia is this not cascadia to you guys because it's cascadia 100 percent to me let's see here oh oh it's got a eaton fuller standard transmission in it i don't know if you guys can see that but that's uh, that thing's interesting looking. It's got a decent wheelbase on it. I just don't, it, it's Cascadia guys. It's Cascadia, 100%. With a Coronado front end. <laughs> and they just put a Western Star logo on it. Y'all can't look at that and tell me otherwise. You can't tell me this is a new model. No, this is a redesigned. It's like they had parts left over and they just threw them all together. I asked the guy inside what the model name was. And he's like, oh, I don't, I don't even know what they're calling that yet. Uh, but people like Western Star. Western Star is becoming more popular. I say, yeah, Western Star is nice. I like Western Star. They, they've, they've always had a nice truck. At least I've thought. Um, other than the fact that it looks like a grenade went off inside the, the sleeper and blew it out. So it was like real rounded uh other than that there i've always liked them they've always been nice but the uh i called it uh i was like what is that the red-headed stepchild <laughs> he didn't particularly like that too much uh but it was funny so I, I like a traditional truck personally but y'all know me i'm gonna get on the road i'm gonna get uh i got two fuel filters twelve dollars some a piece a uh, whole lot cheaper than it would be at like Loves or TA. But the TA, the TA, the Loves down the road has my, our cheapest fuel. For some reason, Loves, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened to TA Petro, but Loves, we used to get 20 cents off a gallon there. Now we're getting uh, 60, 70 something cents a gallon. Like they're our, they're our biggest discount now, which is weird. So I'm gonna go get fuel at Loves, which it's a hit or miss on showers or quality. So, uh, fuel's cheap. So let's go down there and get some fuel. Um, I'm gonna change the fuel filter while I'm in the fuel island. And then we're gonna go on down to our last stop. So let's get going. All right, guys, we are, uh, let's see here. Uh, just under, just over a quarter mile out. Looks like we're going to turn into this complex over here.
a sweet number or something on this thing. Uh, 18, building 18. So that's this one right here. That works. I'm gonna go ahead and spin this thing around. I know I've been here before. I've delivered furniture here. check in all right guys they are uh, getting this thing unloaded and I'm gonna go get my next load after they get done thank y'all for watching let me know what y'all think of that Western Star Cascadia redheaded stepchild thing they got going it's definitely interesting looking uh, I think it's terrible to be honest terrible um, but anyway, it's not mine right some people like it whatever to each their own uh thank y'all for watching i appreciate all the love and the support you guys have shown me my family this channel uh if you got any questions about how i do anything whatever questions about landstar i'd be more than happy to help follow me on instagram nomad.trucker and uh if you're interested in a nomad trucker shirt and my trucker hat uh the uh email and stuff will be in the description below so uh y'all stay safe love you guys don't have too much fun uh we'll see y'all in the next one Stand up for what you believe in, and I'll see you guys.